Everywhere I look, the world is packed with information. The natural world is trying to tell us about itself, but it's too loud and too messy to communicate clearly. And because it's so hard to parse, people are tricked by the storm of information every day. Assumptions are made based on incomplete knowledge. Anecdotal experiences get integrated into common sense. Freak statistical outliers get held up as evidence, and spurious correlations misdirect the public's attention constantly. On the surface, all this makes the world seem chaotic and fractured. But look more closely and it becomes clear that there's great order and unity beneath all that division. That that chaos is only as deep as our limited perception. To constantly wade through a swamp of badly sorted information is what being an experimental physicist is all about. Human technology has advanced to the point of being able to make phenomenal measurements of things that were totally unimaginable only a century ago. From the distant galaxies photographed by Hubble, to the tiniest building blocks of the universe being probed as CERN right now. But the deeper and harder we probe the natural world, the further we reach into the unknown, and squint to see as distant a horizon as possible. The more the few kernels of truth that we seek become mired in a sea of noise. In order to cut through all the distractions and obscuring complications, thousands of physicists must bring their knowledge of statistics to bear on the raw data we receive from our experiments, so that we can remove all the random fluctuations and systematic uncertainties, and in the end be left with the quiet but crystal clear signal of the truth about the world we live in. The tools that statistics offer us for distinguishing things that are consistent from things that are simply random extend their limited perceptions past the obvious and allow us to see the truly profound underpinnings of our world. Without these tools, we will be stuck just looking at the surface. The sense of wonder and natural majesty that statistics give physicists access to by no means has to be limited to the scientific community. I think that if these tools were part of our culture's collective common experience, the public could enjoy a tremendous sense of liberation and empowerment. A statistician's skeptical eye would allow people to protect themselves from the misdirection and misinterpretation that powerful interests used to manipulate their perceptions of the world, in the same way that the physicists used their statistical toolkit to cut through all the noise and chaos of the world around us and see the truth of it all. The ability to parse the deluge of information is at the heart of doing statistics, and that is an ability that empowers everyone, both in and out of the lab.